Uh, this is size uh, 12 long chunk heavy gauge hook and the thread I'm using is block A2 um, as usual wax the thread I will explain all the material as I go along this is a subsurface you know nymph it's just like stays under the surface film and basically <coughs> really good for a spring and very simple to tie and I'm just and the way. for the tail again I'm going to be using this is uh, this is the whole dubbing actually dyed rabbit face dyed block so as you can see these are the longer fibers on the side of the face so if you take a pinch for the tail no need too much and, and just pull these out remember this is your dubbing so don't throw these as you can see that's a quite big tail so I will do take your time with these just half the and everything you take out don't throw it away because these are all essential so I'm still too thick so I'll take some more off and then keep them there that should be enough this is a very scruffy fly actually you don't need to make it precise and the long body you know so I would say that's the tail For the ribbing I'm going to be using is a this is a green copper color wire uh, dyed green so if you take a pinch off just a you know few inches and just grab it same time all the way to secure it and then open your thread and come back towards the tail and work your thread now because we're going to add some dubbing okay for the dubbing again if you can use either spiky from the back of the ear or face soft you know this is a soft on the back back of the so I use this soft one and mix it with the front uh, the spiky one so I'll show you I've taken some off and if you just mix it with your finger then I'm going to tilt my voice so I can just get my hand around to apply some So this is our dubbing done. Basically, make sure you do it all in a balance, equally, and then just uh, all the way. And you, the body is essential, so you must kind of you have to shave shape the body actually so this is the body and now all you have to do is bring the wire just leave enough gap four five six seven you know you could just like kind of that's enough you don't need to put too much wire in there and if you want to you know make a heavy then it's fine but because this is a subsurface nymph and I'm gonna make a little lighter so that's your tail and body done and next step is you add wax on the thread and for the 
thorax I'm using this a closed cell form as you can see I cut the piece and what I'll do you need a one millimeter in the you know thickness and just cut the point so you can catch this uh, actually I'm gonna take this off and catch it gently I need a little bit of larger thorax so now the form is only reason I'm using because I want this nymph to stay under the surface top you know when you're fishing so I'm going to check this if it's sitting all right it doesn't have to be precise so that's fine now next step is again what I'll do I'm going to use the same dubbing well you can use some um, sparkle dubbing as well but I just want to leave it as a simple simple fly so basically they work very well just uh, around the spring beginning of the season and um, you can tie on size 12 10 is fine 12 and 14 I'm not used 12 uh, really good fly and um, if you want to add a little bit more Okay, you don't be just shy with the dubbing. <clears throat> so this is your thorax. Again, open your thread, and I'm going to add little legs on the bottom. So for that, I'm using is a hand harpo. So as you can see, I took a one piece off. Don't worry about the length. If it's a longer length, it's fine. But this is for the still water, you know. Um, so see this is the point so what I'll do they only need a couple of turns or maybe three turns depend on the size depend how thick they are so just cut this point a few turns and then completely secure it and come towards the against our eye and take this off now if it's a large one you can use your hand or is small then you can basically use a hackle player don't put too much tension on it because this is a very fragile fiber so what I'll do I'll just do I'll see how it goes I'm gonna do a few turns and see if it's how if it's okay that's one two I think that should be okay I right, do to three turn so once you scale this, take the half of wire off, and just do a few turns and then I think chop this off is the best idea. So as you can see these will be the legs so this will make a little platform so we can put our thorax on it. So just bring your form and catch it. Now, yeah, that's sitting right on top. So just a few turns, secure this, and basically what you have to do is just do your web finish. take this extra piece off and I'll just take this that's fine <clears throat> now I normally do use uh, a lighter here to clear the head but it's up to you if you want to I just want to leave a little bit sticking out the reason is because it's going to make it strong so these are the leg done and just check all around it's okay and the next thing is do you do is just uh, add some varnish on the head and you can use kind of different 
decent amount of varnish. Don't be shy. Use thin one. And don't go over the top of the don't put the varnish on the top. Okay, and what you have to do is just basically clear the eye. So there we have a black haze here, subsurface, still water name. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.